In this video, we're going to have a look at calculating interest and comparing simple interest to compound interest. In the question, we are told adjustment invest 6,000 for four years at 8% per annum simple interest. David also invests 6,000 for four years, but his interest rate is 7.6% per annum that compounds quarterly. So we are asked to calculate the value of adjustment's investment calculate the value of David's investment, and then explain why David's investment is greater than Justman's, even though he has a lower interest rate than what Justman is receiving. So let's have a look at the calculations. So for Justman, we're gonna calculate it using simple interest. So we are trying to find the interest amount. Principal is 6,000, the interest rate is 0 0.08, that's 8% divided by 100 to convert it into a decimal, and then the number of times is 4. So calculating the interest, so interest is equal to PRN, which is equal to 6,000 times 0 0.08 times by 4. So Justman's interest is going to be 1,920, and her total amount that she's going to have at the end of the four years is going to be 6,000 plus 1,920, which equals $7,920. So at the end of the four years, Justman is going to have $7,920. So let's compare this to David's calculation. So looking at David's calculation, he invested the 6,000 at 7.6% compounding quarterly for the four years. So we're wanting to calculate the future amount of David's investment. His principal is going to be $6,000. His interest rate is going to be 0.076. And because he's compounding quarterly, we need to divide that by four. And then the number of times is going to be 4 times 4, which equals 16. So over the four years, he's going to compound 16 times. So to complete the calculation, so his future amount is going to equal his principal times 1 plus r to the power of n. So that equals $6,000 times 1 plus 0 0.076 over 4 to the power of 16. Using a calculator, you get an answer of $8,108.46. So at the end of the four years, David is going to have $8,108.46. So let's compare the two values. So let's have a look at why those two values are different. So from our calculations, we know Justman has $7,920 after the four years, and David has $8,108.46. Now the reason for the difference is that David received compound interest. Now when you receive compound interest, you are earning interest on interest. So every time it compounds, the original principal amount resets, so you are earning interest on interest. If we have a look at Jasmine over the four years, one, two, three, four, she started off with $6,000. And then each year she earned $480 interest. So at the end, she had her $7,920. Now compare that to David. He started off with the 6,000 and he earned a lower interest rate of 7.6%, but he compounded quarterly. So he compounded four times in the first year, four times in the second year, four times in the third year, four times in the fourth year. So in the first year, he earned $469.16 which is lower than what Jasmine earned, as you would expect from the lower interest rate. However, in the second year, he earned interest of $505.85.
So by the second year, he's already above what Jasmine's earning per year on her simple interest. On the third year, $545.40. And in the last year, $588.05, making his total $8,108.46. So you can see what Jasmine earns the same amount of interest under her simple interest every year. David's interest amount is actually going up each year because it is compounding and he's earning interest on interest. So even though he had the lower rate, over the four years, he ends up earning a greater amount of interest. So that is the difference between compound interest and simple interest.